Do not do this, and if you do, you're in for a rough ride. If you've watched this channel before, you know there are three things that every single claim needs. That's the in-service event, the current diagnosis, and a nexus, which is either medical or presumptive. For secondary claims, the in-service event becomes a service-connected disability, and the nexus links the current diagnosis to the disability. Since we know what every single claim needs, the worst thing you can do is submit a claim that gets denied. At an absolute minimum, do not submit a claim without the in-service event and the current diagnosis, because at least with those two, a CMP examiner could make the nexus. Now, at no point are we gonna preach to submit a private nexus with every single claim. That would be insane, and to be honest with you, not needed in most cases. Now, there is a time and place where a private nexus does come into play, but nine out of 10 times, you don't need one. The two factors are gonna be appeals. You're really gonna see IMOs and DBQ shine on appeals. And two is time. How long have you been out of the service? But at a minimum, do not submit a claim without the in-service event and the current diagnosis. Let's look at what an in-service event is. This can be one or a combination of complaints in your service treatment records, a diagnosis in your service treatment records, and that would be a golden ticket, your DD-214. Statements can come into play here under certain circumstances. I've seen an annual report of a service member's evaluation be used as an in-service event. In that case, we were dealing with the military sexual trauma and MST, and those performance evals directly correlated with the time frame of the MST, and that was used to strengthen the claim. This list isn't conclusive, and anything from service can act as an in-service event. Now looking at a current diagnosis and current meaning within one year. Now I want to be very clear here, a diagnosis that comes from your provider, meaning they see you regularly, even if it's just once a year, holds more weight than a one-time visit. The reason I say this is because some private IMO providers will diagnose you. However, that diagnosis does not carry the same weight it could have if it came from your primary care and your primary care can be private or through the VA. With the in-service event and the current diagnosis, you can see how a CNP examiner can sort of connect the dots to at least write a at least as likely as not nexus statement, meaning you will be service connected. Now we know it always doesn't work like that, but at a minimum, in-service event and current diagnosis, submit the claim. Bonus points if you submit an in-person DBQ and that way the examiner will use the DBQ to form the nexus.